Hello everybody and welcome to an episode that I probably should not be recording right now because it should be working. But I'm all out of episodes and this is supposed to go up tomorrow. If you've seen yesterday's Kingdom Hearts video, I did the exact same complaining there that I am about to do here. Uh, I, I'll do it a little bit shorter, but I've been working on a, uh, a big and very time intensive project, which meant that I don't really have time to do anything else in life. And that has also annihilated the backlog and buffer uh, with the videos I've had for the past, like, forever. I do have some Mario videos for uh, this upcoming week, Raddy. But I am a little bit short on Pokemon episodes. I don't know if we've actually caught something on Route 1. Yeah, we have. It's King Drop. Okay. Um... So this week, and uh, potentially next week, the episodes might be a little bit shorter. I'm still going to try to do something of uh, of noteworthiness thingy, Madiwiki. Uh, I have not caught anything on this route yet, so we'll uh, we'll go catch something here, and that'll be at least something useful today, right? And a new encounter. Uh, but at the same time. It's probably going to be closer to 20 minutes per episode rather than 30 minutes per episode because otherwise I literally just do not have the time to. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go yet. Um, yeah, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go yet. I think I just kind of blanked on Satopolis altogether. Um, because, okay, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, technically speaking, right? Because either I upload, like... Two episodes of 30 minutes, or I upload three episodes of 20 minutes. I, I literally only have the time, probably, to do one or the other. I, I don't have the time to do my usual three episodes of 30 minutes. So you're going to get the same like amount of content as far as like timing goes, either way. Because it, it, I think we can actually get an encounter here. Uh, we didn't get an encounter on Route 129 because we only ran into Jolteon there, so we'll have to remember that. What is our encounter for the underwater place here? Before we go into Sutop, it's a slack off. <laughs> that is kind of pathetic. We'll catch it because Slack King actually isn't that bad, and Slack Off is remarkably easy to catch uh, for anything that we've gotten so far. Actually, I think the Nest Ball might work fairly well here because obviously this is a non evolved Pokemon. Please stay in the ball. You stayed in the ball. That's good. So, uh, as a testament to my busyness and how fucking tired I've been the past week and probably the upcoming week, I'm going to call you... Um, what is something to do with sleep? Sleep, sleep, sleep. I'm going to call you Sora. Because Sora was asleep for the entirety of Kingdom Hearts 3D. And then there's the Sleeping Realm Theory, which didn't actually, sadly enough, didn't actually get debunked by the Remind DLC. It kind of did, but it didn't really. So let's go up to Setopolis and skip through this cutscene, because nobody really gives a shit. And I think we just go into the Cave of Origins here with Steven, right? I am using the speedrun more than usual to make sure that I can actually, like, do shit within the 15 to 20 minutes these episodes are going to be. I think there might actually be Wild Pokemon in the Cave of Origins. There is. It's Flareon, which we already have an Eevee. We can't catch you. I think there might be Wild Pokemon that... I can't remember if it got us feel or not. I think Orocelio. I, I don't think we did. I don't think we got a Celio. Or a Sphiel, for that matter. So, Thundershock shouldn't kill you. It did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay, that critical hit. Fuck you. Honestly. Fuck you and your entire family. I don't like that. So, the Cave of Origins, like, in Ruby and Sapphire, it made sense because this is where Groudon and, and or Kyogre were. Um... Sky Pillar. But it doesn't really make a lot of sense here just because, like, Wallace is hanging out there. Why the frick is Wallace even hanging out here? It, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. We'll go to Sky Pillar next, though. I guess, right? We'll... Sky Pillar? Yeah, we'll go to Sky Pillar. And... 
Honestly, what the hell is Steven even doing here? Because definitely, I mean, Wallace is now the champion, right? Uh, we do need... Well, we don't need to, but we want to go to the Pokemon Sansa over here so that we can actually fly back to Sotopolis when we're done at Sky Pillar. And... Maybe I shouldn't be abusing this people as much because we're making a lot of progress. I'm going to need to do some grinding after this episode anyway, right? Uh, no. Um... Well, yeah, I do, but I, I said no to... Huh. If you press B on the water, you can actually dive up. I did not know that. Uh, so, what was I talking about? As I said, I'm tired, so this is going to be a very weird and disjointed episode as far as commentary goes. I'm very sorry about that, but it was either that or nothing. And I do kind of pride myself on the fact that I almost never miss an upload. Like, the last time I missed an upload, I don't... No, I've actually missed uploads ever since I came back to doing YouTube. I definitely missed uploads like plenty of times before. That does not work against Miss Reavers. Uh, but I don't know I've actually missed... I, I must have. I missed some streams, that's for sure. Uh, back when I did streaming on a schedule because I... I thought that was a good idea. And honestly, it was a good idea. Uh, weren't it for the fact that I sometimes have other things in my schedule and I need to be able to adapt streams to my actual life rather than the other way around. Okay, right, 129. That's a stormy. I don't really get out. God damn it. I didn't think you'd die to that. But you did. Uh, so... I, I, I must have missed a upload. I mean, I've been back for over half a year at this point. Probably like eight months or something like that. I must have missed a upload in that time. But I, I can't remember it. So I think this technically is a new route. And this is a different Pokemon than I don't think I've gotten a Puchiana yet. So let's catch you. You're a strictly worse version of Cerberus. So... There you go. We now have a Mydiana. I don't know if that's actually true. That's a strictly worse version of Houndoom, but I kind of feel like that. So I'm going to call you... Let me think for a moment here. I'm going to call you... Something. A dog. A wolf. I don't really know. Isn't... Wait a second. Isn't like... I think Remus, um, I I'm thinking this because I've been watching a lot of Harry Potter related content while I I've been working on this project I mentioned, god damn it. Uh, and I think Remus, like Remus Lupin from the Harry Potter series, his name is Remus because of the legend of the boys who were, the I think twin boys, brothers at any rate, who founded Rome, uh, who were brought out by wolves. I think that's the legend surrounding that, and I think one of them was called Remus. I think. Which is my reasoning as to why Mardiana is now called Remus. Might not actually be true. Well, it, it certainly is not true that those people founded the city. <laughs> it's certainly not true that the city of Rome was built by two kids that were brought up by wolves. I'm very sorry to burst that bubble for you, but that did not happen. It's a legend for a reason, and that's because it didn't actually happen. Um, do we actually need to be able to fly back to Pacific Rock at any given time? I mean, I guess technically speaking we could get whatever it was that turns into... There's a 131, it's a different... I want you! I really want you! I really, really want you, but you're not going to be staying! <laughs> Are you? Thunder wave. Okay, let's see. Uh, I do not want to kill you. I do not want to kill you. But I don't think I have anything that won't kill you. Let's see. What is your physical attack like? Your physical attack is almost 100. Your physical... Your special attack... You only have powerful moves is the issue. Both are over 100. Your attack sets are actually the lowest so far on the team, Silver. That is... I mean, I know Lugia is a bulky legendary, not particularly a powerful one. So maybe... So far, Lugia does seem... Especially with a move as bad as Gus, but I don't really want to send out Lugia against an electric type. It's the thing. Now we've got Machamp, which is special attack, but it doesn't have any special attacks. 
I guess we'll go out into Silver because Silver has the weakest moves and the weakest stats, meaning that this should do the least amount of damage I can possibly do. And even that did half of his HP. I can't do that a second time, otherwise I'll kill it. We've got nine Ultra Balls. Not a bad start, one wiggle. Not a bad start at all. We'll get you. Eventually. Let's throw in a Pokeball, just to, just to throw him off his game, you know? Just to throw him off his game. That's not how that works. I, that almost stayed. If you stay in a Pokeball, but not an Ultra Ball, I'm gonna be both upset and impressed. I'm probably not gonna use Raikou. Maybe next generation I'll use Raikou. Which actually... That's assuming that I catch it in the first place, which is very unlikely. Because my luck with legendary Pokemon hasn't been very good so far, has it? I've got a Lugia, but only because I had to Master Ball. And that was my last Ultra Ball, I think. It was. Um, so, without any Master Balls, I don't feel like this is happening. And I'm not giving up Silver to get a Raikou, which I'm not going to be even using in this generation. So, I'm going to give it a couple more tries. But honestly, I feel like it might just be best to get the fuck out of here, because... The, it's just... Just ain't happening. It just ain't happening. See how many th balls I'm throwing at your face? It's worth a shot, I suppose. Because it's resisted? I didn't think so. Wait a second! I could have probably used Thundershock with Mickey! Which would have done a lot less damage. Oh. Uh, th that, uh, that one's kind of on me. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that one. That's kind of on me. I'm not even going to go to Pacific Log because I don't think I care. I'm not going to come back here to catch whatever Rayquaza turns into. Because I, I can't. I literally can't. I'm going to run into another wild Pokemon here. And that's going to be my encounter for this, for this area. So... Right? We do have wild Pokemon in here before the floor is all tiled up, right? Let's... Do we not? Oh, so we can come back here later. In that case, I'm definitely going to go to the Pacific Log Pokemon Center just because I want to be able to... Never mind! We're going to get a Kangaskhan, or at least we're going to try to get a Kangaskhan. That's what I should say. We're going to get a Kangaskhan! But we don't have any Ultra Balls anymore. Probably should have thought about that. Before coming in here, because if I run into another legendary Pokemon in here, just a couple of oh, troubles wouldn't have done it. You, my friend, are scary. I'm gonna call you. For anybody who remembers the showdown scoreboard I did, we had real dad, and now we have real mom. Real mom, the Kangas. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're leading with Mickey, and Mickey is almost dead. We don't want that. Uh, give me, give me potions. Any potions? Hyper potion. Thank you. That's what I needed. That was very scary for a moment there. Okay, so I think just falling down any of these works. Yeah. Other than the very last one, the very last one actually does not work. I think we already had a Nita Queen in this series. At this point, you're just teasing me. You, you, you're just teasing me with these Beldum and Matang and everything like that. So I think from here you can actually fly. Let's see, because... Right? You can actually fr fly from... Fry? You, you could fry, I suppose. Uh, you can actually fly from the top of Sky Pillar, which is a really nice little touch, because obviously the game should probably just naturally count that as a dungeon, and that means you can't fly away from it. But, seeing as how you're on top of a literal pillar, uh, a tower, you can actually fly away from it. And Rayquaza also flies away from it. So, I think that is a really nice attention to detail that you can actually fly there. I, I usually use that. I usually do end up flying right back to Setopolis uh, from there. But I'm not going to now, because 
I want to go to... Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Um, I'm going to Pacific Log just to use the Pokemon Center there. Wait. You have Surf? That must have been Mirror Move. That must have been mi Mirror Move. Shift Ray wouldn't have Surf. It, it would only have its level up moveset anyway. It, it never would have had Surf. Oh, we can actually... Can we get anything in Pacific... Only Pichu? Not only Pichu, not only P Oh, but this is the thing. That's the thing. We... Uh, we can't get this either. Because we have a Poliwag. And otherwise, next generation, I'd have two Poliwags. Because I reset everything to its base evolutionary state. So we can't get a Polytoad. I would have loved a Polytoad. I like Politoad. I like Politoad a lot, actually. Uh, I don't like it as much in this generation because it doesn't have Drizzle yet, actually. Uh, it's it's not that big of a deal that I didn't get to Politoad now that I think about it. Uh, where is my old rod? It's, it's just on, on the selected item. Let's see, what is the fishing... It's Hitmonlee. That's fucking useless. That's still the same route. Route 132, however, should be starting. Wait, that was all Route 132? Where does Pacific Log start? I think that was all Route 132. So let's check in the town itself. I think you can encounter Pokemon here. It's Halo. At level 11. I... I guess we'll try. I can't damage you, but you're only a Taylo. So, uh, this one is uh, definitely, I mean, we've had one Swallow before in the past, I think. Uh, we're calling it after that one, uh, which was Twitter. Back when I actually used that godforsaken website. Let's see. Let's fly back to Sotopolis and with that end of this episode so that I can go into the gym next episode. Go through this cutscene, which... It's really impressive watching this back in the day on a Game Boy Advance. Right now, it's just annoying and time-consuming. And I think that is going to do it for us today. We actually caught some Pokémon, which is good. Are we? Do we need to talk to these dudes? I think we do. Yeah, we do. HMO7! Next time. We, uh, we managed to do this in about 15 minutes, but I really, I probably do need to grind before going into the gym because this is the last gym and I think I healed three times without doing any battles in between. I do need to grind for this gym. Uh, the episodes this week are all going to be shorter. Next episode is probably only going to be the actual gym and getting to Victory Road. Then the episode after that is going to be just Victory Road. Episode after that just the Pokemon League itself, the episode after that, just Steven. So, the rest of Hoenn is all going to be fairly short episodes. There's going to be a lot of grinding in between, which I do not have time for. I cannot stress that enough. But the rest of Hoenn are all going to be relatively short episodes. Usually, I probably combine next episode with Victory Road as well. Um, I might, depending on how long it takes me to get to Victory Road. But I'm assuming that Victory Road is going to be its own episode, uh, just to make sure that I can keep producing daily videos. At least for right now, once this project I'm working on is over, we'll go right back into Gen 4, into half an hour long episodes, and we'll need that because Gen 4 is a long generation. That all being said, I've been Vlogger, you've been awesome, as always. I'll see you all back next time. Bye.